Hi, thanks for joining me. This is Angie at Chicken Scratch. This is the project we're making today. Isn't it cute? Okay, we made this during Facebook Friday 44, but I'm filming a cleaner version. So here are the supplies. We've got powder pink that measures 10 by 3 and a half. And then we've got another piece of powder pink that measures 5 and a quarter by 3 and 3 eighths. We've got the Sweet Soray Designer Series paper that measures three and a quarter by four, and then scraps of Whisper White and the Silver Foil uh, for our image and our scallop circle there. I've also got a delicate white doily. So I'm gonna get the Simply Scored Scoring Tool and we'll go ahead and score both the inside box and the outside. So I'm going to place it here on the Simply Scored Scoring Tool, and I'm going to score it at four and a quarter on both sides. So I'm just going to turn it and score it again at four and a quarter. Set that aside for now, and then I'm going to take the inside box piece, and I'm going to score it at one inch on all four sides. Okay, I'm going to fold on the score lines. I'm going to take my scissors and cut up to the score line on all four corners. And then I'm going to trim each of these tabs. I'm going to trim it a little on the left, a little on the right, and a little bit off the end. And this just makes assembling the box a little bit easier. Okay, we're gonna take some fast fuse and we're going to just put some adhesive on the four tabs. Doesn't look like I trimmed that one. <laughs> I didn't. So I'm just give it a little trim. There we go. Okay, so now we're just going to bring these up. And I could have used a little bit more adhesive, but this is just my sample, so I'm being conservative. Okay, so there's our cute little box. It's going to go inside here. So let's fold this fold this. We're going to take the, this is one of the punches that comes in the itty bitty fruit punch pack. So there's um, pineapple, a pear, can't remember the other one, and then this one. So there's four of them. We're going to be using this to make our hole for the ribbon. So I'm just going to punch it there and then I'm going to line it up to the back side and punch it again. And then I'm going to add my designer series paper to the front, and then we're going to repunch it. So you can add your paper in whatever direction you want. <laughs> slick surface to it, so sometimes your adhesive will slide across it. Okay, now let's take that punch again and repunch that. There we go. Now let's take the powder pink finely woven ribbon. Oh wait, you know what, let me backtrack for just a second. Let's go ahead and add our box on the inside here. This is one of the things I messed up during the Facebook Live is I didn't put my box inside. You can slide it in, it's okay, but you have to be careful about your adhesive, okay? Let's see, so just to give you an idea of what size that is. Now we're going to bring this up. And we're going to take the silver twine. This is in the Occasions catalog. It's on the same page. Let me go ahead and trim this as this sweet sore. <laughs> you guys know I struggle with that word. Uh, designer series paper. So I'm just going to make a bow. Okay. 
there's that part. Cute, isn't it? So let's go ahead and add the doily right here to the front. Just going to use a little bit of my liquid glue. I've made this box before, but using a different measurement. I, I made it wider to accommodate a doily, and I made it a little bit shorter. I didn't want it as tall. Okay, so the stamp set is Beautiful Peacock. This is one of the celebration stamp sets. So if you purchase 50 bucks, you can get this stamp set for free. There's several items to choose from in the celebration catalog. Okay, I'm using basic gray ink and powder pink ink. And I'm going to take the basic gray for the peacock and I am going to use my Stampin' Matte. Sometimes some of our stamps prefer it and um, I think the tail feathers of the peacock actually like the Stampin' Matte. So I'm going to use that today. So I'm going to stamp her and look, I rocked her. So let's turn her over and stamp her again. Okay, much better. And then we're going to take her feathers and stamp her in powder pink. And then we're going to take the greeting. Now you can choose any greeting that you have. That This is quite a bit of space and during my Facebook Friday Live video I showed a couple stamp sets that you could use uh, a different greeting. Okay, so we're giving that a second to dry, and then we're going to cut it out with the two and a quarter circle punch. I've got that here. You could cut this out first if you were afraid you weren't going to get the entire thing in the image, but if you just line up the feathers to connect to his or her little feather right there, you should be should be safe. Okay. Now we're going to have to get the big shot out to cut the silver foil with the layering circles framelits. You could make this fit in a two inch punch and then use the starburst. It just makes it a little tight and the beautiful friend doesn't fit quite as nicely in there. So you can use that if you want to. Let me get the big shot. Okay, so big shot, magnetic platform and cutting pad, silver foil. Okay, let's go ahead and add this. And then now we're gonna add our beautiful rhinestones. I think these just make this project. So we're gonna take two large, two, not the very large, just the medium size. And we're gonna place those on here first. I don't know why I always struggle with these things. And then one down here. Is that right? Yeah. And then we're going to take the rest are going to be the small ones. So one here. And one here. One down here. And then one over here. And then we're going to add this to the box just with a dimensional. Okay, so here's the one we made during Facebook Friday. Here's the one we just made. Super cute, aren't they? Have a great day. Thanks a lot. Bye.